how it sways in the sun Keeping your stories in its motion Lies the truth about us back to my channel my name is Laura Tapiwa if you're joining me for the first time hey what's up and if you're back again I don't know how many times you've been here what's up cousin because we are a family over here so it's a beautiful Sunday I know I haven't vlogged in a long time um actually I haven't vlogged since I came back from Zim because mm, let me actually close the window <laughs> okay but anyway I haven't vlogged okay let me close the window why are people starting their four pipes so early on a sunday guys like hey hey didn't you get tired last night like why are you buying us anyway uh <laughs> i haven't vlogged since i came back from zim because when i came back i had a flu the flu that i was dreading kicked in i had a bad cough my voice was gone and then after that like life happened so i've just been adjusting it's been two weeks since i came back and then I got monetized and then I shot that video. Um, I actually shot another sit down video, which you've already seen by now. But yeah, I'm in the right headspace. I'm better now. And I just decided, let me vlog. You know, it's time to catch up. It's time to get back into the order of things. What's that statement? Into the swing of things. <laughs> I think that's the word. So yeah, I decided, let me just back, get back to vlogging. Let's get back into it. So it's a beautiful Sunday. We're going to go to church. And then after church, my sister wants to go to clicks. So we're going to go to clicks. And then we'll probably pass through checkers, buy a few things. It is Sunday. So just check what's not in the house. Kind of restock on that. I'm very exhausted. I'm very tired. So I'm going to, we're going to be going to the 1230 service. Like, you know, have a slow Sunday. Um, I'm in the mood for like a seven colors. So I'm going to beg my sister not. I'm going to ask her nicely to like, you know make a nice seven colors meal i think she can hear me already but you know like rice coslo rice chicken coslo all the shebang so i'm just gonna ask her nicely you know like the good big sister that i am anyway so yeah i'm just gonna have my lemon water i haven't had this in a long time i'm also gonna get back into gym tomorrow but today basically i just want to rest like i'm so exhausted i haven't been speaking properly i feel like that's gonna happen in a different life update <laughs> Woo! I think that's gonna happen in a live update and then yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you like comment and subscribe Hey guys, so we are off to church now. I am these are our outfits but anyway we're off to church hey guys um i was saying we are late but we are on our way to church now it's 12 30 service starts at 12 30. i was saying it's 12 30 and service starts at 12 30. there's my little sister by the way if you didn't know her i'm just saying maybe someone is you <laughs> anyway we are off to church we are off to church now it's 12 30 service starts at 12 30 so i'm just hoping and praying that we will get there before praise and worship worship is not done because you know i'm in the mood to praise and worship so yeah after church we're gonna go to the mall my sister wants to buy a few things and then yeah i'll catch you guys later but you know what it's a beautiful thing it's Oh, 
Fiction has to be dealt with and punished and that's why we understand as believers why Jesus went to the cross so that he could take that punishment that was rightly ours upon himself and my prayer, my prayer today really he said maybe if I could see heaven for five minutes then I would believe and Moody turned to him and said no my friend he said if you could see hell for five seconds that would be enough to make you believe and you know, it's interesting as we look at the scriptures, we see that Jesus spoke more of hell than any of the Old Testament prophets did. He also spoke of hell more than any of the New Testament apostles did. And let's, let, let's, let's never get tired of, of bringing people to church. Let's never get tired of sharing our faith. Let's never get tired of telling people the good news because it is good news. It is good news for every person. You know, two, the book of 2 Peter says that Camera. Here we come. It's also giving plastic.
para o poder. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just here at the end of this vlog before I start the next one. Sorry, fixing my hair. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful week. I hope you guys are good. I just want to give some encouragement to someone that feels like they're going through a trying time. Someone that feels like they're being tested. You know what, guys? Like, I feel like when we read people's stories about people that God used for the glory, like the Israelites, it's a beautiful story coming out of Egypt. Like, it's amazing. But imagine 400 years in slavery. I'm sure by the time they got to 400 years, they didn't know, like the people that already initially had the promise were long dead, like it was centuries later. So I'm sure some of them had given up all hope. So I just want to encourage someone that, you know, you're not alone. Um, Joseph, by the time he became prime minister, he was king. And Joseph was Jacob's son, guys. So imagine all the time he was in prison. He was probably thinking, damn, if I was at my father's house, I would be living differently. All of that rejection, all of that being thrown away by your brothers, feeling unloved. Imagine how he felt all those years. But he held on. So I just want to encourage someone that if you're feeling like you're at the end of your rope, if you're feeling like, you know, you're tired, I just want to encourage you to hold on. Also, guys, my skin... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just touching my hair. My skin looks so amazing. But yeah, my point is just hold on, carry on. And you know, we're in this together. Like life is just lifing everywhere, everyone. Some people go through different things. And like I posted in the video before the, for this one about seasons. If you find yourself in that season where things are dry, things are not working out, plant. This is your time to reflect, plan, and plant and prepare yourself for the next season i hope you guys like my video tell a friend tell a friend subscribe and don't skip the ads catch you in the next one